This is unexpected. I didn't expect to buy this, but here we are. The MetaQuest 3. Let's get her open. I don't know if that's what we're supposed to do right there. But... Oh. Very simplistic packaging. I like that. You get a wall wart and a small Type C cable. That's like two feet. Totally lame, totally unusable length for anything but charging. Good job, Meta. Got a circular charger. It's interesting. Never seen that before. Okay. Ooh, the controllers feel really nice. They feel very slippery, though. I don't like that. Like the texture is very slippery, very slick. Control sticks feel very precise, and the knurling on the side feels really good. Kind of feels like an Xbox controller. Let's see what the battery doors are like. Oh, so there's a little button now to release the battery door cover. Okay, they switched over to a new button style. A more refined, more tactile experience. And uh, really responsive. They don't feel as mushy as last time. Uh, the headset feels pretty light. It actually feels very light. Even though it's supposed to be heavier than the last one, it feels very compact. There's cloth on the outside here that's going to get really dirty. I don't know why they keep on going with white. It's the dumbest color ever for electronics. Oh, look at this. Have an actual a wheel for the IPD adjustment. That's nice. Kind of a grippy rubberized texture. Uh, the buttons on the unit itself feel nice. That's a headphone jack right there. And that's the USB-C for uh, charging and PC connectivity. And you have the, uh, the speakers, I think, right here. Yeah, right here and here. So the lenses are supposed to be pretty awesome. These are called pancake lenses. They're not Fresnel lenses like the, the last type. They have a, a, a much wider viewing angle. You don't need to get like the sweet spot. They didn't include uh, the, the rubber surrounds here. They must have changed the material because last time this material really upset a lot of people's faces. Very uh, loose interface. I don't like that at all. Very chintzy feeling in that regard. Okay, uh, it feels much lighter. It feels a lot lighter on your face. Oh man, this is way better than the Quest 2 in every way. Even even with this like garbage head strap, this feels a lot better. The weight feels more close to my head. It doesn't feel like it's like hanging off. And even if I make extreme movements, I do feel like the lens is touching my, the bridge of my nose, but I do have more of like a protrudy nose, so that kind of makes sense. But this. This is way better. Like the whole whole thing feels lighter. Um, so with a nice balanced head strap, this could feel way better for sim racing. Oh man, like this is, okay, let's turn this thing on for the first time. I don't know what button to push, I think it's this one. Hey, this is nice to be able to look, whoa, this feels weird. Okay. The pass through is a lot better. It's still not good but it's way better. Whoa, that feels really good. That feels a lot better than the vibration from the last controllers. That, that, that feels really good. Oh, you can see your battery level actually on the controllers themselves in VR. That's really cool. Oh, it tells you the, your IPD in the actual, in the headset while you're doing it. That's very cool. So you can know for other headsets. The field of view feels, it, very similar to the uh, the Quest 2. It's not really much improved, I don't think. I feel like I look less dumb with this on my face than I do the, the previous generation. We're gonna do further testing with this device, but so far, everything that I complained about the last device has been improved, and I know the ergonomics will get better with a, with a different head strap, and it's pretty much commonplace to replace your, uh, your head strap like immediately. I like the controllers. I like that those rings aren't on top here so you don't like bang them on stuff. We're gonna test this out for sim racing. Dad, you stay tuned as well because guess who's getting a brand new Quest 2 headset? Maybe not brand new, it's used, but guess who's getting a Quest 2 headset? You! 
Everything was pretty to scale too. Now that I take this off, like that table was the exact same size almost. Have a good day. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in a future update on the MetaQuest 3. Oh.